Waking up this morning in Woodstock, Vermont. So this is our view from the back of the hotel. Pretty sweet. And I'm running a little time lapse here. Under my hat is the Sony. And I've got the hat on it because we've got some drips coming down from the roof still from yesterday's rain. And I just want to make sure that it's protected. Our first stop this morning little covered bridge right here in Woodstock, Vermont. We're like a half mile from our hotel. It's pretty sweet. So we're, I think we're on our third stop of the day and we've uh, just on this nice little back road here just outside the town of Woodstock and just this is classic lane. It kind of winds off into the distance and I'm shooting right now with the T6S and the 50 millimeter F1.8 uh, STM lens. First thing I'm gonna do is set a nice, um, a nice aperture that's gonna allow me to get all of this in focus. And then I can slow my shutter speed a little bit before I need to start worrying about handshake. So about 80 is, is safe here in this case since I'm shooting with a 50 on a crop sensor. So I'm just gonna raise my ISO until my exposure looks good. That's a little too much, so I might go back down to 200. The T6S um, does not, it only has full stops ISO changes. So right around there looks good. And I'm just gonna, oops, touch the shutter is on. I hate that about this camera. It should never be enabled. Uh, and now I've got back button focus, so I'm just gonna push my button up right here to change, or to focus. And then I'm just gonna kind of move around and, and look how does this look with a little bit more foreground, a little bit less foreground? And I think somewhere right around here is good, although I see a car creeping in that's parked up there on the left a little. So I'm going to make sure that's not in the shot. And take my shot right. shooting the old barn. If you remember, she was just with us in Greece and she's now along on this Vermont trip. We've got a nice apple orchard here. We're on our third or fourth stop of the day and a lot of just fantastic things to shoot. We have a church, which has some neat stained glass inside. And we've got this lane and just down on the left is a really cool little shack, really, that has some great textures, moss, and of course all of these fall leaves surrounding it. Time for lunch at the Long Trail Brewery. So we've pulled over to capture this hillside, which just has some beautiful colors. And a great tip here is to use your circular polarizer. I've got one here, I'm just gonna hold it in front. That's why I started with a little bit of an overexposure because it does cut some of the light. But then you rotate that and you can really see quite a difference in the effect. Depends on what angle you're shooting from the sun. Right angles from the sun have the largest effect. It's really a nice way to bring out the deep blue sky and get some of those colors, increase the saturation on the leaves. It's a little bit later afternoon now and uh, we've got some really nice golden light starting to show up. Uh, we're just on some back road outside of Killington and there's a little waterfall here, very little, uh, but with a little bit of fall color, more than we saw at the last larger waterfall. So we're stopped, folks are shooting that. Lots of tripods here because we're using our ND filters and our circular polarizers to get those longer shutter speeds allow for that blurry water and you just can't hand hold that kind of stuff. Here I'm running video on the Sony to uh, just you know throw in a little time lapse for transitions from one spot to the next and I'll just speed this up as people are moving back and forth and shooting right here. We are starting to wrap up our first full day of shooting here in Vermont. It feels funny to say that. Uh, it's been funny to vlog from Vermont. Uh, it's been fantastic so far. We've shot some great foliage scenes and we're really excited about getting an early start tomorrow and getting some more photos. Good morning, sunrise. Day two, McKay Photography Academy. We are out here all alone. Look, Nick, all by himself. Let's just pan and see this beautiful scene. Wait! Where the hell did all these people come from? So we are at one of the most photographed barns in America. It's Gen A Farm, just outside of Woodstock, Vermont, technically reading Vermont. 
And, uh, you know, we're sharing this space with a handful of other people along this back road in Vermont. So I'm shooting with the Canon T6S. I got the 18 to 135 on, and I'm bracketing my exposures right now because we got a good bit of exposure latitude difference between the sky and the ground. So we're just finishing up at this spot. I like this shot of these little silhouettes of these photographers still up on the hillside shooting. Uh, I was shooting a lot with the Canon T6S, which, you know, it's a lovely little camera. Uh, so much fun to use, very easy to use. I'm gonna call it my mini 5D Mark III, simply because it does have that full manual control dial, the dial that's set up for your aperture and your shutter speed and an ISO button as well. I really like that. We are now headed down to a little town called Weston. It has the Vermont Country Store. It's got a beautiful little stream, mill, lots more photographic opportunities. There is the stream that runs down into town. It's gorgeous. A little bit of shadow or shade here. In the golden leaves back here. We're getting some really nice shots. And then we did a little, what I call, pre-shopping. Can you see right there, that beautiful little leaf? Well, there was an ugly one there. so. I put a nicer one. And uh, this is a great place if we have circular polarizers or neutral density filters to get a little bit of a longer shutter speed. But actually, because it's in the shade, most people have had success with just closing their aperture down as small as it will go, f22 on one lens I'm using, f32 on another. Uh, and then a shutter speed of one fifth of a second. Some people are getting up to five tenths of a second. And that's enough to get this water starting to look silky smooth. And it's pretty sweet. Right, so we're on day three of the McKay Vermont foliage tour and actually that Vermont is a lie because we're now in New Hampshire. Uh, we're going to be driving along the Kinkum Vegas Highway and look who joined us. Wait, no, not Nick. Christina. There, Christina's joined us and so she'll be along for today as we shoot some of these beautiful scenes. We make our way into the White Mountains. This is a beautiful little spot here. It's a little less beautiful as you're shooting into the sun over there and you lose some of the colors. So it's really concentrating on this spot here. We've got the pines in the foreground, which create a nice layer. Well, a little bit of the water, pines. And then we have the slope of color that leads up the hill. And then our eyes transition to the green, up to the rocks. And so I really like this nice little triangle. This is what I shot, actually. Right there is what I shot. It almost looks like I'm on a green screen. I think it helps that this bridge is right above me blocking some of the light, so it's very directional. Well, oh, I have lovely light right now. We're on our probably one of our last stops of the day, one of the last stops of this trip. It was just a short three-day trip. Got this railroad bridge here with some gorgeous colors on either side of it. We're making our way back across New Hampshire to Vermont, where we will be finishing up and headed home tonight. And most people are staying the night and then flying out tomorrow morning. It's been an excellent trip, and David is starting to talk about putting together a fall Vermont trip next year that also incorporates New Hampshire with an extension trip or a second trip that you could tie together, goes up to the coast of New England. We'll have more information out about that soon. 